What is your uh, view of how uh, the battle is going? The perception here in the West is that Russia's progress is slow, but inexorable. It's, it is slow. Uh, it is steady. Essentially, today, Bakhmut fell. Uh, it hasn't quite been called, but bridges are being blown across the river on the west right, now side. That, so now that is news, Matt. It's you know it's nine right. o'clock here in the East Coast, and the major media entities have not reported that Bakhmut uh, fell. So you're you're giving us some hot news from the ground. Uh, I'm assuming you you have your sources, and you wouldn't be saying this to us if you didn't uh, honestly believe it to be so. Right. I mean, there's always the fog of war, so I'm hesitant to call it 100 percent. But from what I'm from what I'm reading of accounts from people who were there and what I'm hearing, uh, it's it's essentially done now. Uh, and, and bridges are being blown on the west side of the city, which is the city that the Ukrainians would be accessing the city from. So if they blow in the bridges, presumably they pulled out. Uh, the forces and don't plan on getting back into the city. city this this much, is a so. major setback for uh, President Zelensky, is it not? Uh, I think it was a, I mean, it's been coming. It's been known. I think people have been prepared for it for months. It was how long can they hold the city before it does fall? Um, it was inevitable that it would fall. I don't know if it's going to be interpreted as a, as a big setback for him. It's certainly going to hurt morale here. Uh, but I think people knew it was coming long enough because of, of, as we said, the Russian progress has been slow, but fairly steady, especially in Bakhmut. I want you to take a look at uh, a brief clip, maybe 45 or 50 seconds from a documentary President Zelensky made and pay attention, if you would, to the very end of it in which he uses some exceptionally harsh and threatening uh, language uh, about President Putin. Володимир Путін просто відмовляв. Прямої відмови мені ніхто не робив, але всі лідери, з ким я спілкувався, говорили, що він не готовий спілкуватися. Чи є у вас зараз бажання чи намір спілкуватися? Ні. Зараз я не готовий з ним спілкуватися. Точно буде момент, коли буде відчуватися крихкість режима Путіна всередині їх держав. Тоді хижаки з'їдять хижака. Це дуже важливо, але їм потрібна буде причина для себе. І вони згадають слова Комарова, Зеленського, ще когось. Вони згадають. Він знайде для себе причину вбити вбивцю. Дуже красиво сказали. Ну, от, тим не менш, я думаю, що тому це не зайве. Чи це спрацює? Так, коли, я не знаю. So I see two takeaways there. One is he's not President Zelensky is not interested in talking to President Putin or even initiating talks at, at the ministerial uh, level. And two, he's calling upon the Russian people to kill President Putin. The predators will eat a predator. You, you of course, uh, can give your own interpretation and, and tell us what you think. H had you seen that before? No, I haven't seen it before. Uh you know, why I, why I, would he make a documentary like that? Propaganda. I mean, the Ukrainians are the best at propaganda I've ever seen. Um, and that's a compliment. I mean, the things that they do with video here are Hollywood quality all the time. I've never seen anything like it. I mean, if, if any U.S. political campaign did it, they'd blow everyone else out of the water the way they do things here. Um, you know, it's, I think it's unlikely that Putin's people are going to are going to rise up and overthrow him. He'll probably die of natural causes. Uh, that's that's kind of a, you know, a big wish that that the war could end in such a way. And 